Hey folks, welcome to another edition of Going Live on Amazon with my pal Jim Fuse with an S. I don't know why I spelled it with a Z. That was so bizarre that I did that. But if you're joining well, you know, us, make sure you unmute and follow. Sometimes I say fuse like a fuse box and that's spelled with a Z. Well, I don't know. Is it a Z or an S? I don't know. <laughs> that's right. So this has been a fun day. It's now cooler in the office. The fan's still going though because it's still like 81 degrees. But... Um, we wanted to do, uh, talk about our studio. We had a great um, show with Michelle from Heil Sound, which was amazing. I learned a bunch of stuff. Um, hopefully, if you if you didn't see that, make sure you guys go back to like uh, YouTube and check that out. And uh, but yeah, so let's get started. Jim, you go first. Let, this, we're going to talk through our studio setup, what we have, what we like to use, um, all sorts of stuff. So why don't you take it away? Yeah. So I, I think uh, one of the first things I wanted to talk about, and I'll actually. Uh, bring it. I, I can bring a little bit in the frame here. I've got a, another microphone on it. Is this is the Heil uh, Sound PLT2 uh, overhead boom, and just got this from our friends at Heil, and I, I tell you, I'm in love with it. Mm -hmm. um, it is, it is so solid. I mean, this mic that I have on here, and this is also in the carousel. This is the uh, the Shure. Uh, is, it's the Super 55. Yeah. And this is also on sale. And this is, and I'll, and I'll play with this mic later so people can actually hear. I guess I could do it now, right? We yeah, we figured that out. So yeah. we, we should do the shootout because we need to do the, you got the shirt. I can't hear you. you. You muted. You're still muted, Jim. Can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah. There you go. There we go. So this is the, uh, the Shure uh, Super 55 using this boom arm. And what people don't realize is how heavy this microphone is. Yeah. And, this boom arm is like ain't nothing but a thing <laughs> and you can run and what i'm doing is i'm running my xlr cable through there's a channel on the top and the side and then it has a nice uh i guess is it a plastic piece jeff mm -hmm. yeah it just it just and snaps in you there can, you can just keep, you know get a little bit of uh cable management because that's what we were talking about uh earlier right you want to be able to manage your cables and it's really easy to just adjust it right i can bring it down i can bring it up and it stays right and there. uh yeah it's you know so i'm really really excited about it i think uh and it's on sale you know for prime day and and let me tell you folks we talked to michelle from heil if you go back and uh watch the earlier show they don't put a lot of things on sale mm -mm. so uh this is a good deal i mean uh you know i think it's the michelle best swing we've ever had yeah 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 I, I, she's almost talked us into you could get multiple boom arms and then you just put your mics on them and, and take the arm out. with you yeah and put it in you know she has holes all over her desk they ha they actually have desk mounts too so that's another thing uh probably should have stuck that in there but yeah this is this is something that i'm really really excited about i think uh you know so this was one of my definite prime day scores mm -hmm. um and and i don't know if you still you still have your squeaky one there don't you yeah, I do. Your, so, uh, we won't name the brand of this, but you can see here it sounds like a, like a bridge starting to fall or something, you know, like in right. a movie. That's what the sound effect is. But, yeah. So yeah. I so I almost feel like that guy, you know, let's get ready to rumble. I I, um, I, I won't go back to your screen. Yeah. So um, it does look that way. I want to hang mine uh, like that, and we probably need to do Jim a shootout because I have the, you know, this is Kyle's uh, uh, fin. Uh, so let me I'm gonna go. Um, I'm this is the the one I'm talking to is the Hal PR40, which a lot of podcasters use. But let me go to. So this is the fin. This is and I think I'm gonna hang it upside down like like you do. And so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that in the carousel for you guys who are, are interested in it. They ha Jim showed up uh, earlier with a I'm on two places. Let me get that pop up out of the way. Um, they have this in multiple colors. You can get it in a red, chrome with red, and chrome with white, as long as also a chrome with blue. And these are light, so if I like darkened everything, um, you would be able to, um, you know, kind of see the glow of my beard blue, I guess. But um, they also have a really cool, like, it reminds me of Darth Vader. It's a black, it's a matte black one, and it has the red lights in it, or you can get blue or white, but the red lights just re look really cool. So. I think I'm going to start doing shows like just swapping out mics, like you were saying, with that, uh, Jim, and, and, and seeing what uh, what it does. But, yeah, this is the Finn microphone. So uh, it is not on sale today, but it's just freaking cool, and we need to do 
I had to do it because Jim brought up his mic. So, anyway. And and uh, hello to our friend Tim Sohn. He's watching on one of the channels. I. Oh yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, there's so many buttons to press right now. You know how this is. Uh, yeah. Jim, Jim, I mean Tim does. So yeah, he says. I well, think he's over on Facebook. And, uh, and we're using and we're using uh, what our friends uh, at Restream. Mm -hmm. We're using Restream and Ecamm today. Yep. And so it, it's allowing me. I, I love this pairs feature is allowing us to go on other like some of my channels that I wouldn't normally go to. But we figured, hey, it's Prime Day. People probably have questions about like what is a Prime Day? I've never heard of this thing. You know. Right. Um, it was kind of funny. I I saw someone did like a GIF, and I guess they they're like you know it, it's the day to remember Optimus Prime. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Optimus Prime. Yeah, so if we have another Prime Day, it will really be Optimus Prime. And by the way, since you did mention Ecamm, I am going to uh, give them a big shout-out. Um, if you if you guys want to check out Ecamm, this is what this whole show is built in. And I threw this together like last night, so that's how powerful it is. But you can go to jesse.com forward slash Ecamm. They actually have a sale right now if you're a new user. Um, it's 30% off if you uh, use the code JULY30. So July 30 is the code if you wanted to go and try out uh, Ecamm because it's it's pretty amazing. Yeah, Tim is saying, yeah, shout out to uh, Ecamm Network. Thanks, Tim, for uh, that. And uh, all right, so I'm going to go with one of my um, my uh, picks for – I mean, we're talking about studio stuff, but this, I guess, would be kind of studio. Um, I'm going to talk about the Kindle um, – oasis because i'm a big reader and i think to you know get better at the stuff that you do you got to keep reading and and the cool thing is you can also listen to audiobooks with the kindle oasis and the best time to buy these and this is like their premium awesome model um the best time to buy these is on prime day i'm just just hands down because they get the best deals but one of the things is i've got the cover for it it's got this I bought the 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 Oasis before they started with the paper white having this warm light because everybody knows you're not supposed to be, um, you know, reading on that blue light stuff. But you know, I talked about becoming better, and that's our friend Ross Brand's book right there, 100 Live Streaming Digital Predictions. If you go to JeffC.Live, you can watch our last show where we interviewed Ross about his book and some of the predictions. But the cool thing about the o the Oasis is that it's got these physical buttons right that I can just click back and forth, oh. which I really like. And then it, you know, you can do it for either hand, which is kind of cool. Isn't that cool, Jim? That is. Here. And um, you can also still do the swipe. And it's also waterproof. So if you dunk it in the pool, you can sit in your tub and read if you want. Um, you can actually, you know, do all sorts of cool stuff with it. The, the case is separate. They have a, a bundle, and that's what I have shared down in the carousel. It's a bundle where you can actually get the, the case. And the case is waterproof, too, so if you dunk it, it's not going to hurt it. But it has that, which is really important, like for iPads or these kind of devices, is that corner protection. Because that's what you dang up first, you know what I mean? So... This right. is there's a couple things that I would go get like and we're going to talk about some of them today right after like if if I lost it or broke it I would like go out the next day and buy and this is one of them and uh being able to have that warm light um that comes on I don't think it's on right now let me go to the settings there it is it's starting to come on I have it set to auto and sometimes it can kind of be a little janky when it's trying to pick it but you can bring up the warmth really really high and bring it back down and it's just it saves your eyes so anyway this is one yeah, of my so picks. Really, so really, it's kind of it's black and white. You know, there's right. no color. Um, and, it's, and it's the highest. Yeah. It's the, it's got they've got the highest um, like PPI like resolution with this one. And if you remember, and I've been reading Kindles since they kind of came out because my wife said I can't buy any more books because we had too many stacked around, <laughs> and so she likes this a lot. But the old ones would like really when you would churn pages, it would flash kind of and it would refresh. This is so fast you can barely see it. I mean, I'm turning pages, and that would bug me a little bit when I would read books because I was, you know, when you read books, you're not used to having a flash. But this is, like, right. it just it just happens. It's just the the e-ink is, I'll put it up here, it's super sharp and clear. It's like reading a, a real, there's our Mitch Jackson, our friend uh, from Metaverse Lawyer, but it's just super crisp, and it's like reading a book, and I love it. So if you are a book reader, the Kindle Oasis is for you because they are they are amazing. So anyway, wow. So I had to bring that, that up. Very... Yeah, yeah, that's good. 
That's good. Oh, and I and I guess I should show this too. Um, I'm gonna. I gotta make sure I change it to my carousel. So this is the uh, shock mount that you mm. can get with mm -hmm. this, and this this is very heavy as well. And so it's interesting. Is like it. It's like it has these rubber bands, and and they feel like rubber bands. And what this does is this absorbs, you know, any of the stuff coming through your right. your shock mount, so that it doesn't affect your your sound and your microphone. And you, yeah, so you can basically, you bring your XLR cable through here and your mic will sit in there nice and snug. In fact, you've got one. Yeah, it's um, on it right now. Are, yeah, why don't, you, why don't you show everybody what that looks like on your end? Yeah, so um, on this one, I need to fix this screen so it doesn't automatically do that. Um, this And it's great to grab it by, except for the sound. I need to put my new Heil uh, boom arm on it. But you can just, it's, it's something to grab it, like if you're moving it. Um, and it really does. It has, I wonder if I can go to the over the top view. I'll turn it around. Um, you'll see that it's got uh, these little elastic parts to it. And this is the, the cool thing about this is it actually fits on most all of their microphones. And Michelle was showing us earlier that we can use it for not just not just this, but for um, we, we the Heil PR30 and even some of the handheld mics you can put in there and it'll hold it in there and keep it for, uh, keep it, see, you know, see like it's vibrating even with this fan, but it keeps it quiet because of having the shock mount on it. And so I, plus it looks cool. It looks like you're professional right. to have it. So, but I, I just, right. I think it's a great, it's a great feature to have. Um, do, so yeah, so you can use it on the PR30 for sure. And the, this is the, the Heil PR40 that I'm talking into right now. And so, yeah. It's a, the shock mount is, uh, I have a, a pop filter on mine, which you really don't need because the Heil does a great job. There's a pop filter kind right. of built in here. So yeah, that's right. We, we learned a lesson today with it. Yeah. You don't need a pop filter. They provide the pop filter with the handhelds. I wonder if that's more because people are walking around and probably, you know, all yeah, kinds of people are breathing. Well, and, and a lot of times they'll be outside with those, you know, like man on the street, like Don, right. Don, well, Donahue, does it? Okay. See how I'm showing my age. I, Don, I can relate that? to Donahue. I don't know if Tim Sohn or hello, Jessica Phillips. Great to see you there oh, as well. Yeah. And uh, you have a built in. Pop <laughs> that's too. right. That's right. I'll just do this and just like, hey, everybody, welcome to the show. <laughs> so great point. Only Jessica yeah. would think of that. Thank you, Jessica. It was so great to be at and your I conference. Shout out to Cliff uh, Ravenscraft and over here on. Uh, oh, and, and Ross has is, is showed up on my channel. Happy Prime Day to you, Ross. We were just talking about your book, Ross. I don't know if your ears were burning. Yeah. Uh, Jeff had uh, put it in his uh, magic. Uh, my Kindle, Kindle like my Kindle device. I've got your live streaming universe, Ross Brand. Uh, I was showing out how the the cover and everything, and uh, yeah, all your wisdom that you had in this. Let me. I wanted Ross to sign it, but then I would have to buy another Kindle, and I didn't want to do that. Of course, they are on sale. So, see, look, there he goes, <laughs> just for Ross Brand, right there, hundred. His brand new book, version two, part two, volume two, I guess. So very, very cool. All right. Is it my turn or is it your turn? I can't remember. It's your turn. It's your okay. Turn. Let me go back to my uh, my thing. So one of the things, I did get this for Prime Day because um, it is in my office. And I, and I use it in a different way than most people, but I'm going to bring it over here. Um, hopefully it will reach. So this is the the new... This is the the Echo, and one of the cool things about this is I don't use I mean I use it to play music, and this is the the version that has the the built-in speaker, and it's like another thing that if you're gonna get one, Prime Day is the way to do it because um, yeah it's it, they it's significantly discounted. But I use this to control my lights, and we're gonna talk about what lights I use uh, a little bit later. But also I use it to set my alarm and all sorts of cool stuff. So. Um, I I just think it's it's pretty cool. Let's see. If, um, Alexa, it almost looks like a bowling song. ball. It's so big. It is. <laughs> it is very. It is very big. But uh, yeah, I have it unmuted right now. The only thing that was weird because I had the old, the old kind of. I'm gonna go back to the main screen. The old echoes and I have her unmuted right now, so she won't talk as I say your name. 
it, it, and that was on the top. If I had the puck kind of version, and we use those, we have like three or four in our house to control stuff. Right. Um, and it's on the bottom. The lights are on the bottom now, and so it's a little bit different to get used to. But I was super impressed with the sound. Now it is directional compared to some of the other Kindles. Um, you actually have to point it kind of forward facing. It's not like th 360 sound like they have. Like the tweeters are firing in a direction, and but it sounds surprisingly good. And this is the the one that has the superior speaker with it you can get some of the lower models that look the same but this has the the high quality sound with it and i've been pretty impressed with it so i don't know if you have are you a are you a kindle i mean a alexa person jim or are you i i do i have one kindle? over here but i have to keep her muted um <laughs> yeah it's true because she'll start talking yeah yeah or, or, or it's what's happened before uh, you know another reason why i have to wear in-ear monitors is if you know like Chris likes to say that word sometimes, and then it would start like making answers to questions. Or you know, like yeah, we're on speakerphone, and it'll mm -hmm. say Alex, and then it's like Alexa starts going crazy. Right. You know, you, you can change it, and I know some of my my Star Trek geeks friends have actually changed it to say computer, like they're in the Enterprise. Like a computer, sure, turn off uh, the lights. Uh, and so, I think Eric Fisher does that. So anyway, very very cool. So that's yes. the that's the new Kindle. I mean, that's the new. Echo uh, with the uh, the high quality sound. So, if you're gonna get one, get it today, and it's in the carousel down below. Right, right. So you ready? Are we are we ready for for something new? You're you're up. All right. So this is a this is what they call a lightning deal, and I'm gonna Go ahead. bring it up here, and I'm going to like I'm actually gonna bring this down. I'm, so this is a UB size 67 inch tripod mm. and this thing has been one of my favorites. I actually got this last prime day, right? Um, it comes with this, right? So this uh, will go horizontal vertical. So if I wanted to make, uh, you know, short form videos with my phone, right. And it'll fit any size iPhone, right? So I've got, uh, here's my phone. This is a 13 pro, mm -hmm. right? fits right in there. Oh, slick. You can you can tilt it. So when I make a lot of my product videos for Amazon, mm -hmm. I will use this because right I can get the angles that I want to do my videos at and it also will, you know, hold a regular camera, but you know cuz I I had someone ask me today actually it was interesting. We're talking about it's like you use a selfie stick. And I I don't know about you, Jeff. I'm I'm not a selfie stick kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> and so I would well, much rather have a tripod and and maybe move around the camera the way I need to as opposed to trying to, like, hold it out there. I mean, I, I think a selfie stick's okay for selfies, but if you're trying to do some short videos, you don't want the phone shaking. Yeah, you could go get a um, a gimbal. Mm -hmm. That's the um, one I have. It has, it has the uh, selfie stick built in. Yeah. Right. But this, uh, but this is also very heavy duty. You know, like I said, it's... Gets up to 67 inches, so that's taller than me. So what more do I need? And, um, <laughs> you know, and then I, you know, I can, I can adjust the angles. You can make the legs. And it also, one of the other nice features is it's got this hook right there. You can see yeah. it. Yeah, for sandbags. So you can, you can, yes, exactly. So you can weight it down so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, I mean, that's a heavy-duty tripod for a, uh, for a phone. Yes. I mean, that's nice. And it's. And it's thirty dollars, you know. So, and, but eighty-five percent of them are claimed. Yeah, hurry up! Right, so there's only, only a few more left. So, I I have been extremely happy with the uh, the quality of UB size products. And um, now, can so you I use this all the time? Can you flip it so it's uh, vertical? I mean, you got a vertical video oh, now. Yeah. Can you do horizontal? Okay, yeah. You just want to ask. You know, somebody's going to ask that. Yeah, yeah. So, yep. but that's cool. Yeah. Because product videos, you're yeah. probably going to use it that way as well. So right, cause you, you know, because if you know, right, I could go like this, and now I could do, uh, kind of oh, like yeah. you know, like an overhead if I wanted to do something like that. But I use my overhead on a on a mount, mm -hmm. or uh, yeah, you know, so like you can kind of see, right, yeah, all that. And it but looks yeah, like it's got that quick connect on it, so you can slide it in. If you had like another camera, you could really you could slide it yeah. in and off. Yeah, this this, little, this is set up to to work with um with regular cameras too it's not meant for just that's the right. nice thing is it came with this mount but it's also meant for using with the real cameras yeah even though i guess you could say that those are real oh, cameras. Those, yeah the iphone has great cameras in it so i my thing was um 
what I was thinking is you could get some of those other mo- those other bottoms, and you can, if you were doing a shoot where you wanted an iPhone, and then you wanted to put your, I mean, you could actually put mics on that because a lot of people use those for yeah. you know putting a mic mount and, and moving those around. So I think that yeah. that would be something uh, as well that you could do. So very very yeah, cool. I actually and we'll and I'll talk about that later. So what I'll do is I use my Rode Wireless Go Two mm, with mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. And so I'm able to clip the, I guess we call it the receiver, right. to um, to part of the tripod. Yeah, and that and way so it then I've gets it all at once. Yeah, you can move it around. Yep. Yeah. Very cool. And, yeah, yeah. So and then so then you're getting you know because like we talked about earlier, audio is is the key to video. Yeah, it all is. Those. Yeah. Uh, and Cliff Ravenscraft's in uh, here, and he's taught a lot of people about that. Yeah. So. Yeah, shout out to Cliff. I think he still uses the PR40, which I am on, which is cool. I think he's one of the reason, and Michael Hyatt and uh, uh, the Pat Flynn, all those cohorts together uh, convinced me to do that. So uh, I've been very happy with it. Um, so I'm going to go, and this is kind of, I wanted to do it because it is a deal of the day. So is this the, the Echo that we just talked about. That's another deal of the day. And Jim actually got me uh, thinking about this, but it is... The Apple Watch Seven. It's on sale. Yeah. I don't know what the sale is right now, but it is it's significant. One hundred and twenty dollars off. Yeah, twenty eight percent is what. Uh, yeah, and I've got I've got mine too. The Series Seven is amazing, I, and I'll tell you, you know, I, I think we're both uh, a- Apple. What do you call it? Apple boys, Apple fans. <laughs> I would, yeah, calls. Apple men. We'll say men. We'll, we'll say Apple man. Right. And uh, yeah, as I'm on my M1 using my iPad and my right. iPhone and my Apple Watch. Um, but they're coming out with iOS 9 for the watch very soon. I think the beta comes out this month. I may play with it. But I, you know, use this thing all the time. You know, I used to use a Fitbit. Right. Um, and the reason I stayed away from the Apple Watch, I don't know about you, Jeff, was because of the battery life. But I can actually get by just throwing on the charger right. once a day. I can go all day. So yeah, and that's it, what I do. Is I, I usually put it on the charger when I go get in the shower, and because yep. I wear it at night to do sleep tracking because I really like that sure. checking all that stuff out. And I've also I use it for my exercise, and it's fun because this little known fact I compete with people like Eric Fisher and my son because you know you can have those rings where you're you can compete. You're like hey, oh, yeah. you competed. You know like like I'll see like Eric finished a workout and I'm like curses i've got to go do mine now so he doesn't beat me so that's what i like about this stuff let me give you i want to tell you one of my hacks so one of the cool things is if you didn't know if you have a a, a, a watch you know you can change the faces of course uh one of the mm-hmm. couple things that i do uh when and i've talked to eric fisher about this when i when i go and i just deleted it <laughs> by swiping it um there's a mickey mouse face and i put that on in the week in the weekend so when i look at it i know i'm supposed to not be Mickey Mouse around at work, but be present with my family. And so that's a reminder because, you know, we look at our watch, see what time it is and stuff. And that's a reminder that like, okay, it's time to, you know, just let the work stuff go, go Mickey, quit Mickey and your mouse around and, and spend time. So that's what I do. The other thing is, and you know, I like, we, we Jessica Phillips is here and we, you know, we just were at her, at her conference and I, I, I love road trips. So I did a road trip to, uh, cause I'd never been there before. And I have this special watch face that I've created because I listen to podcasts like Cliffs and like the Dealcasters and and um, all the different people who are here at Ross and everybody this is my special driving watch face so I have everything here because I'll listen to podcasts and I'll get like a really great idea and I want to you know take a note well I have this button right here it's called just press record I can hit overcast which is my podcast app that I use I pause it and then I can go and and hit that just press record and make a note and then i can go right back well, and do it again and then i can go back to my navigation now, and that note is now on your watch right i mean on well your it goes phone, to my right? phone yeah and it gets transcribed yeah. and so i have all these notes so like that's my my creativity time is when i'm driving so i have the just press record tells me the weather wherever i'm driving goes back to navigation because i love having the navigation my watch where it taps me twice to turn right and once to turn left or whatever it is uh, and then huh. my power, how much power I have left, and then my Overcast app, which I can click on and I can go back, hit 30 seconds and play or whatever, and it's all controlled. I can almost do it, you know, I can just do it with my hands and not have to reach for my phone. So I love I love being able to customize stuff on my watch. So 
if you are interested now, does, in an Apple Watch, you need to get one today. Does the Overcast app play through your watch, or are you still having to have your phone or another device? It doesn't play through audio? my watch. It, you, I think you can have it if you don't have your watch with you. I mean, you can. I think you can use it to play like your headphones and stuff, like with you know, because you can right. play stuff off of your phone, off your watch. I always have my phone with me, uh, and so it's just it. I haven't done it that way, but I, I, I love the Apple Watch. That's another one that I would yeah, go I out. If I broke it, to, I would get it. You don't have to add you and Eric because I, I don't have anyone that I'm doing that whole rings thing with. Us, oh, but I'm, I don't, I, you would put us to shame, I, Mr. I Marine. Need, I I'm need like, some incentive. No, I, I mean, if it wasn't for the marathon, I, but you know, it's funny because it, it'll, you know, it's finally said, hey, you've actually moved, you know, five days in a row. <laughs> yeah. You know, the stand goal, like, hey, you stood up for today, which I'm like, okay, don't That's most right. people, but I, I'll take what I can get. So anyway, yeah. the Apple Watch Series 7 on sale today. It's down in the carousel. Check it out because there's so many cool features that I don't think people know that you can do with a watch if you start, you want to do some productivity or you want to, you know, get some things done that can really be helpful, like especially when you're when you're driving and all that kind of stuff. It's so. funny. I, I never thought I'd do it, but I, I definitely have, right? It's like it's the George Jetson. Like sometimes right. someone will call me. Yeah. And I'll answer it on my I'll answer it on the watch. Oh, yeah, and I'll I be talking through my watch. The funny thing is they don't realize you're on your watch. They don't that's right. I mean you're they're like, hey and they just start talking. I'm like, oh, they don't know I'm on my watch. <laughs> so that's yeah. kind of cool. So anyway, yeah. that's today. Make sure you grab that down in the carousel if you're wanting to get the new Apple Watch. So you're up next, Mr. Fuse. All right, well, I'm gonna talk about this mic that I switched over to. This is the Shure MV7, and I've got the, uh, you know, it's both USB and XLR, and as you can tell, my voice sounds great, and, you know, so I really appreciate the folks over at Shure, uh, you know, getting this, uh, provided to me by them, so, you know, just full disclosure. But I've been using this now for, uh, you know, a few months. But, you know, of course, now I have these amazing Heil microphones, too. So, I, you know, I'm going to maybe have to, like, put on my calendar what mic am I using today? <laughs> because, I mean, you know, it's just I, I thought it was interesting talking with um, Michelle yeah. about um, how you know, your voice sounds different with different microphones. And I don't think we always realize that. And, uh, you know, th this one, I've, you know, I've got this plugged into the uh, Rodecaster Pro 2. You, now, if I wanted to go USB, it would have all these controls and dials that I could do on the microphone itself. And then sure has a couple of apps that uh, I think you can do both desktop and on your um, devices that you're using um, to to control and change things. Um, I will say the one thing I can't do, and that's why I would have to use the Roadcaster, is it doesn't have a built-in mute button on the uh, microphone yeah, itself. The, yeah, you have to use USB for that to uh, be active. Right. So, yeah. Right. But yeah, I I think you know this is this is on you know on sale for Prime Day as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's you know something that people are considering. Uh, you know, because, you know, I'm going to say it again. The most important thing when you're making video is your audio. So get a good microphone. It's, we talked about this earlier today. This is an investment, right? Don't get caught up in like, oh, it's going to cost me X number of dollars. Um, you know, and this is something just like what you're using. You don't have to go get these $600 microphones unless you really want to. Right. Um, you know, because I don't need to use a cloud lifter. Uh, you know, I'm able to use it, you know, simple, really out of the box. Right. I, I think even with what you have there, right, you just plug it in and mm -hmm. boom. But you, I you sound I, like I did butter. a little sneakeroo while you were talking, uh, but I don't want to I don't want to go there yet. But yeah, um, I think they're amazing. So what so I, we talked about this um, a little bit earlier was that. Um, Every mic will sound different for you. And so I actually switched over to, <laughs> while you're talking, Jim, right. to this one. Because I wanted to show, because they have different options. And, the, like, all Sure stuff are on sale today. But everybody, I think, needs to, and the cool thing about Amazon is you can get stuff and test it out. Um, because and every mic like sounds it, different. What would you say? Yeah. And if you don't like it, you can send it back. Right. I mean, they have the, the best return policy around. But um, every... Every mic will make you sound different, and you really need. And Michelle said this today: is you need to turn off all the settings and listen to your voice, 
and what's what you like like pat flynn you know he was talking about he never his his was about ready to fall apart i guess and he had used had it for so long because he liked it so much but this is um they have a, a couple different versions of the sm7 um for prime day and the one i have right here let me go to the over the headshot is that this one came with and it's very very cool this i love these manfrotto i think they're called the pixie oh yeah the pixie thing and so the kit comes with the microphone uh the 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 mount right here but also this podcast this little uh, manfrotto kit and it has this ball mount on it where you press this button and you can you can angle it around but it locks it really in place and this is not a you know it's not a super light microphone either but you can have it on your on your desk um this is i think a great podcast I mean, uh, this is a great mic for podcasters who are wanting to up their level um, to kind of the next the next thing, and that um, you know, like like Jim was saying, it, it just makes your voice sound really, really, really nice. And if you don't have a like a roadcaster, like we've been talking, we talked about the interface we're using, you don't have to because this has a USB function. It's USB and XLR, which I think is great. And that's when all these, you see at the top here, um, that's where you can actually control the, the volume. You can mute it on and off. There's an app that, that there's a, um, a QR code that's in the actual instructions where you can download an app for this mic for free, where you can kind of control it on your desktop and do a bunch of cool things. Uh, but that's only for the, the USB when you plug into your computer. But for us, when we go into our interface, we can control all that stuff without... The other stuff but it's just a it gives you tons of options is what i'm saying is the, is right. the cool thing so anything else that you yeah about and, this? I, and i like that i like that stand too and i think we'll be talking about that later because we both have a uh another device uh that is great for using with your phone that we'll uh we'll talk about a little bit yeah. later from sure yeah so anyway I, that, I i think it i mean test out mics see what sounds good sometimes it can be like it, it could come down to like i don't have an xlr connection i but i want to start podcasting i need to have a usb mic for now and then later on you can get a roadcaster or a roadcaster pro um too and and start you know up in your podcast game but i just i think i like the options with this that's the that's something right. i think is really attractive yeah yeah and i think that makes a lot of sense i mean i think uh i mean because i started out my first microphone was you know, real microphone was the Samson Q2U. And I did that because it was USB and XLR. Right. And then the next step was I bought the Focusrite, which we'll talk about a little bit later, you know, before I went to the road. Because I, I, what I like about the Focusrite is it's small and portable. So if you are going to travel and want to do podcasting on the road, it, you know, the Focusrite will plug into your computer where the roadcaster is a little bit big for traveling around with. And and, it, and it's really easy to adjust to point it because this is an in-fire microphone as well. So you want to tighten that up so it is pointing. I've been fiddle farting around with it. But um, you want to you have it pointing right at your mouth and keep it. I usually try to keep it like a fist a fist away from my, you know, yeah. my fa face kind of a thing. And so, um, yeah, and the stand makes it really easy and you can move it out of the way. If you're having like a small setup uh, and that's one of the things that Jim and I talked about earlier was that, um, you know, having a spot where you can create content, is super important that you don't have to go and like take your mic out of the bag and set it up and then, you know, tr put your camera and set it up on a tripod. If you have a, a dedicated space where you can do that, that's what makes it uh, easier to make content consistently. So. Right. Yeah. Right. Definitely true. So what do you right. got for us next here, Mr. Oh, it's, it's me. So let me uh, let me switch. Well, no, I kind of stole it because I went back and I did this well, one. It was it was a team effort. I, you know, I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. Let me move this out of the way because I want to use this spot. So why don't you go while I change over? That would be All right. Easy. So, let me, so what I'll do is I'm going to talk about, since we were just talking about interfaces, uh, where is it? I have it down here. I'm going to talk about the focus right. Mm. 2i2. And so I'm going to get to go with an overhead shot here. So as you can see, you can plug two microphones in here. This is another one that you just, right? It's USB. Mm -hmm. Plug it into your computer and it, you know, it comes with some software. You can buy some software and this will power up your mics. You're able to adjust the gain on here. 
And as you can see, it's really not that big. That's probably about maybe six to eight inches. Right. So this is something I could easily take. I, I'm actually still using this. What I have done now is I use this on my laptop that I use upstairs. So I use this for Zoom calls. I plug in a microphone in here and I'm able to use that microphone and get better audio when I'm talking to people on Zoom. But uh, I've, I've had this probably for at least three years and it's, you know, mm -hmm. it's solid, you know, biggest thing was, you know, I told, like I told you, part of the reason I went to the roadcaster was I wanted to, you know, I like the, um, the smart pads as they're calling it on right. the new one. And just the fact that it'll do some other stuff that this just won't do, but this, this is a workhorse. This is kind of what I would recommend to people. Now, if you don't want, and the reason I have the two I two, right, you can get the solo, the two I two, this was where, you know, before the big C happened, I thought I was going to be out talking with people. And right. so this way I can have two audio inputs because that's the thing you have to remember about USB. You can't plug two USB microphones, even if you have multiple USB slots right. into one computer. Mm -hmm. So if you want to run multiple audio inputs and you're going into one source, so you're interviewing two, you know, two of us are in a coffee shop, whatever, that's where this comes in handy because now you can have separate microphones and mm -hmm. you're also going to get, you know, be able to record separate audio tracks. You know, you can also, I, you can plug your headphone in, right? Let me right. see here. Yeah. So I monitor. used to run my headphone into there so I could monitor what's going on. And, uh, yeah, so this, you know, Focusrite, great product. You know, that, in fact, this is what uh, Michelle uses. Yep. She uses Focusrite for all of her microphones. So this is uh, this is something that, um, you know, I, I'll, I'm always going to be a fan of, uh, of, of Focusrite products. They're, they're solid. And uh, they make, you know, they make ones that will take even more microphones if you needed that. Now, I don't know. After all the microphones we have, maybe we should do that just to see how many microphones we can plug like in at once. Yeah. So I I, th I think those are great for like um the traveling uh, like the traveling kit and I have so I hooked up one for our church that works really well. They're just solid pieces of equipment like kind of almost like an industry standard that people are using. So I think that's I think that's pretty cool. On that note, um on a traveling kit because I want to talk about that because you and I both do a lot of live video. Sometimes we're in hotel rooms, sometimes we're doing, you know, we we can't be at our home studio which is the best place to be, but sometimes we can't. And so I was so excited that our friends from Shure uh, sent us this. And this is their MV88 uh, Plus. And Jim, I this was one of the things I was just like so cool about because it is, I'm, and I have it, 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 one, it's in a compact kit. Like this is where you can have it and take it with you and it's it compacts into your luggage and i have a, like a tech bag that i put stuff in but once again it comes with one of my favorite little things the manfrotto little tripod here with that ball mount on it on the top of it but this is what you get in this mv88 plus video kit so it rolls out just like a tool bag which i think is very very cool yeah. and you just um you attach this is your iphone holder and it can go you know either you can have it on a different angle so you can actually you know have it as a field monitor and you just screw it in just like this and my whole thing is this little mic and it's a condenser microphone we the, what we're talking on now um is the dynamic microphone the other microphone we had on all the mics we've seen so far are condenser microphone i mean uh dynamic microphones this is condenser so it's got to have power from your iphone and here's the little here's the little mic right here and it's kind of squished because i had it in the case but it comes with a windscreen that you can actually take off really easy but it stays on there really well but it does a great job with it um, and i talked about this a little bit in a product video that i did but you just attach your there's a little clip here this is a cold shoe that goes right on the top just like this and um if I put it in right, it's always fun putting things together while you're you're doing this. Um, you just you so it depends on what mode you want. If you want it selfie mode, you know you turn it this way. And in the software, it's cool. You can actually flip it so it will go you know one way or, or the other. And then it, it comes with this is another thing I loved about it. It comes with a USB C adapter or a um, a lightning 
cable, which I use for my iPhone. So you just plug this in right here on the back, and it's even got a uh, a microphone, and I mean a uh, headphone monitor, so you can monitor stuff while you're doing recording. But this thing sounds amazing. The other cool thing is it plugs into your computer. So I can be, like I mentioned, going out, doing a live show from a hotel room, which happens sometimes, and I can set this right here and have um, an off screen, and it sounds phenomenal. And you can have, um, it has software that comes, there's an audio software, like just as audio only, but also mm -hmm. a video software that Sure has put out that you can record with. And you can change the field of the microphone. You can dial it down so yeah. it can be really tight. You can make it really, really wide. Like if you're doing a live concert, you can, it has compression in it, it has uh, limiting in it. All the stuff that you need for professional audio, it's right there. So I could have it pointed at me really tight while I'm walking around, you know, filming something at Disney. And then I could have it go really, really wide. I can also set it uh, between Jim and I, if we were together, like we're going to be at Podcast Movement in a couple of weeks. And we could do an interview because I could have it fire from the side and from the other side, and we can actually do an interview show together. So, man, I just mm -hmm. – this is on sale right now, guys. And, you know, this is a yeah. a no-brainer <laughs> if you're a yeah. uh, uh, any sort of podcaster or live video person. I was just – I was super stoked for this. Yep, yep. So, I, yeah, I've got one too. And, yeah, yeah I, I, I need to I was start jealous. playing with it more because – so I have – so I'm ready for podcast movement because uh, – yeah. Make make some short form content and but uh, if sure and, stuff, and, and, and it's if on sale. Those yeah. of you that are, I, I see uh, our friend uh, Scott Ayers and Rich Grammer watching over on Amazon. Are you guys going to be a podcast movement? I know that. Yeah, I mean Scott's Scott, in Texas. He should. He might as well be. I mean, right. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know if he. I don't think he likes podcasts though, right, Scott? I, <laughs> just don't insult his cowboys. That's the thing. So anyway, that's that's yeah, my big. I love this thing. It's. It just, I've been starting to shoot product videos with it because um, a lot of times you don't have the best. I mean, th to be honest, the iPhone does a really great job with um, audio, but this just takes your production to the next level. And I've been super impressed with it. And once again, I love the little tripod at the end, at the bottom. Scott said movement sounds like it might involve sweat or something in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, gosh. Anyway. Yeah. Well, All right. Spe so speaking of sure. Another uh, item that they have on sale is the Aonic Freeze. Oh, and yeah. these are another of, have become one of my favorites. And so, and, and we talked about this earlier, Jeff. Jeff and I are not necessarily fans of wireless, mm. okay? But these, I think, have, is it a 25-hour battery life? Yeah, they put iPods so, to shame. What I do with these, and, and they've got uh, other sizes in case the one that it comes with isn't work. Uh, these Bluetooth, they go in your ears. I'll put one in one of my ears just so people can see what it looks like. And then I use it on my computer. Uh, so now I can listen to my computer. So I've used it for meetings on Zoom with my other computer so right. I, instead of plugging in a headphone. And it's worked fine because I'm not worried about it dying. Now, I did actually, this is a true story. When we were at Social Media Week Lima, I was having tech issues, and I actually used these um, with my guest. And so <laughs> the guest had one in one ear, and I had one in the other ear, <laughs> and we actually talked through these. Wow. This was our, I didn't our know you microphone. Do that. Yeah. And, um, and, and because of the way it's got some noise canceling, you couldn't hear all the noise because there were mm -hmm. people around us. So, uh, because it was otherwise like, I, you know, I didn't really have a good speaker system. I, you know, I didn't, didn't plan well, didn't have my focus right with me. So that ended up, this ended up being a lifesaver, uh, you know, because it, it does have a built-in microphone. So, you know, because you could answer your phone on it if mm -hmm. you wanted to, that sort of thing. Uh, but these are solid, right? This case charges them up as well. And I think you get, I think I want to say it's 25 hours. Let me double check. I don't want to, I don't want to tell a fib, but they're, right. they're, I think they're 45% off 21 hour wow. battery life. Wow. Um, you're not going to get that with your Apple AirPods, even though everybody loves them. And, uh, they do come in a red if you, uh, don't like the graphite, but, uh, I, yeah, I really like these. Um, 
they're very comfortable too. They don't, uh, now I don't, I would not recommend like going and running in them because yet it is fitting in your ear canal. And so it might fall out and then you'd be kind of upset because, you know, they are on sale, but if you didn't get them on sale, you'd be upset if they hit the ground and break. Right. But uh, I, I really like these. I think uh, they're solid, um, you know, real easy to use. I use them, I use them a lot now because my, my wife doesn't always like when I'm, you know, listening to things loud. So now I've started to. <laughs> You're blowing to, out your ears to, yourself. Yeah, that's great. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So those are, those are, those are really good. And yeah, great prime deal on them. And, uh, you know, I would definitely something to consider if you're, you know, cause they're, and I would say with the prime deal price, they're cheaper than the AirPods. I believe that you're right. I believe you're right. And it's got, I don't know if you could do that, that kind of thing that you were talking about. You did with the AirPods with one in each other's ears. Hopefully you just gave them to me. I wouldn't like somebody else's earwax on it. That's kind of, it's like you don't buy <laughs> used AirPods, but so they, so go ahead, go down below in Jim's carousel and, and click on those. Cause, uh, you know, um, there, I mean, it, it's a really great sale that sure is doing right now. Um, one of the things about we just talked about wireless, but we like to use wired when we, when we do, um, like our live shows, because I've had AirPods when I first started doing live streaming, I actually had them cut out on me. Like, you know, they would all of a sudden I couldn't hear anybody. And it was that panic moment, like, Oh, what's going on? So I always use wired. And so I'm using, these are these me audios and they're really cheap. Uh, I have like two sets of them because I'm always rolling over on the on the my cords with them. But I just upgraded, and because there's this Prime deal going on. But these are great. Like if you're just getting started and you want cheap monitors, this is probably the best bet. But you know we've talked about leveling up. You know you're as you grow and you get more stuff and you want to take your production to the next level. I actually went and ordered because there is a the Shure's doing the. Um, the the deals right now i just got the and i just put it in the carousel down below the sure se215 pro wireless one so they're about an 89 dollar one it's supposed to have more bass jim i think you even have the even the bigger ones than that but um yeah i, I had the 215 wired for a while and then i now have the 425s um i don't think they're on sale that's why i didn't right. put them in the carousel What's but the yeah you just difference between the since you've had the 215s and you have the four yeah can you notice a big difference in sound I, like i do notice a difference in the sound it's like mm -hmm. it's got better range and okay. you know it, it also uh just the just the quality you know it's a little bit higher quality i did the 215s but, you know, because I, the I just 215s listened. Were great. I, I still have the wireless ones okay um these are the wired but it kind of goes back to the reason i don't use them is because i'm you know I just wanted to have some upgraded ones because Sure's having them on sale right now. Uh, I and I don't I won't listen to like a lot of music with them in. I usually put these in only when I go live, and so I just wanted another set of monitor earphones. And then if like I'm starting to do a lot more music with uh, piano and stuff, and so I wanted to have like a a little bit more if I wanted to use them for that kind of thing. So, uh, but those are on sale down below as well. So make sure you guys check that out. So um, you're up next. So you got I'm some up more good, goodies. All right. So what am I, what am I going to grab next? Oh, okay. So we're going to go, we're going to go wireless now again. We're going to go with the, this is for, this has become one of my go-to items when it comes to uh, doing, pro well, product videos for one, but just mm -hmm. if you want to get away from your desk and that is the Rode wireless go-to's. Oh. Um, so what, why the, the twos? Well, for one, it, that's exactly what it means. It comes with two. So you've got this here is the, as I, I like to call it the receiver. So I can actually plug this into the computer. It, it'll also plug into your phone. So that's where, like I was talking about earlier, I'll use the, um, the, the tripod, the UV size tripod, this clip will allow me to clip it on there. And then you've got two, not one, two transmitters. And so actually, this is the this is actually the receiver, and it'll show you the battery levels. Let's see if my mine is charged up. It'll kind of tell you if it's on. Yeah. So then, so then this actually records to the device. Hmm. So you actually get your audio tracks on here, 
and then it'll show you how much battery you have in these. So I use a, um, I actually use this with a lapel that I also got from Rode because I could use it just plugging it on, you know, like up here on my shirt, but mm -hmm. then I feel like it's, I've got the beeper look. I feel like by using the lapel mic with it, um, I get a little bit more focused audio. Right. But this has a range of, I want to say, um, no, let me give you the, the exact range on this. So Lisa Jeff. Monk says, uh, I love the Rode Wireless Go 2. I don't leave home without it. So she, She's one of the reasons I bought it. Mm -hmm. Lisa talked about it on a Facebook post. And I was like, all right, I got to check this out. Because she did. She she swears by it. And, and somebody says, they great sound if you use a lapel. So uh, hashtag yeah. obsessed. So there's like, I've heard, I think I was, when I was at Jessica's uh, event, I believe that... I was with Owen. He was using these when I was doing his interview. This, this is why this is why I have used this sometimes with Chris. This has a range of 200 meters. Mm -hmm. So that's like two football fields for those non-Canadians. That's a long interview. Um, well, but I can go into another room uh... where I have another camera and the audio will still transmit back. Like, say, if we were right now... If I had this plugged in, I could go somewhere and I could still be talking and you could still hear me. Oh, that was Kelly that... Mirabella. Sorry, Kelly. I don't know why it's coming up uh, that way, but uh, we know now who it is. So thank you for yeah. watching tonight. But these, but, these uh, but the fact that you have two, if you've got a guest, right, or let's say you're creating a, you know, a vertical video, or let's say you're doing an Instagram live in person with someone, um, you could both have an audio input and not have to worry about sharing a microphone and so um i've used this for like uh, toastmasters doing a presentation even right here because what it'll allow me to do because um, one of the things that happens when we're doing virtual presentations like right now jeff and i are kind of tied to having to be near our microphones which is okay but if i wanted to do more of a presentation right right and if i were to stand back here with right that i i have much more freedom of movement so i that's one of the things that uh i had someone ask me today it's like you know oh, what do you use for a wireless mic so sure you can get a lapel mic that will plug into your phone but now you're talking once again about your distance is now limited by the wire yeah and you know you might all of a sudden grab something and all of a sudden your phone just fell over and you just broke your android or iphone so that's where i think that uh, these are these are great. You can charge them up fairly quickly, and um, I want to say that the uh, what do they call it? The um, battery life. The road central will store up to I can't remember how many hours. I think is it thirty? Let me see what it says here. Um, but the problem is it starts to like erase your. Uh, your um, older stuff so, so you got to remember to download it if you if you need it but that can be come in handy too because maybe something happens but it'll still record your audio and mm -hmm. uh so i think it's uh you know i've been extremely happy with it you can put it on your camera like you could you know tie it in like kind of what they call that hot shoe is that the right yeah. term mm -hmm. jeff if you wanted to use it with uh like the camera i've got here or the sony if i wanted to use this as the microphone for that camera that's could do cool. that as well so i i've been uh, extremely happy with this the you know i mean they have the they still sell the road wireless right but that just is, you know one transmitter one, one receiver here you've got two that's a and great kit. um yeah that's a great kit and our friend and our friends from uh shore and heil have not come out with something similar yet or if they do it's in a much more yeah. expensive uh i don't think Kyle code. ever will come they i, I say that but i don't think they'll come yeah out well from what, from the conversation we had with her today they, they're not you know they're more into the the whole analog audio right. thing so um so kelly said uh, she's probably because she's watching on jim's profile yeah we're using restream pairs i don't know why it usually pulls in the the comments but that's just oh weird. yeah i see it but she, and, and um, what's funny it's my personal profile that's weird that's, yeah, that's strange because you were able to attach with Restream pairs. Anyway, she puts hers on the, the DSLR. I know a lot of people who use that uh, as well. So very cool. Well, let's talk with – let's go back – not back, but let's go forward to something else. And I, 
and I know a lot of people have different opinions on this, but let's talk about lighting. Um, so I've got a oh, yeah. bunch of different lighting things. And I this is actually, it just came off a lightning deal, but it's still on sale. It is this, and I think Chad uh, told me about this. Chad uh, Peterson was the this Ulanzi light. And it's, this is the version two, and it's got a lot more soft to it, but it's it's really simple. You just, and I wanted something for my, so I have my, my overhead cam is my iPhone. And um, the attachment I have has one of those cold shoes on it where I can put this because I, I was kind of trying to mess with some shadows here. Um, I need to get a matte black like uh, pad that I can put here for some of the product stuff. But it has, um, it's, it's really pretty bright and it does, you can set it up for product shots and add some more lights, but it has different brightness settings. You can just go rotate through it, but it's small, it's light, it holds a charge for a long time. There's a memory button here where you press and it tells you how much charge you have left in it. But you just charge it up with the little mini USB right here and it's just a handy light. I almost want to get another one so I can do some product shots where I could, you know, move it around and have a, a shot over here with a little brighter and another one. But uh, it's got this, let me turn it down so I don't blind everybody, but it's got a, a new soft, uh, kind of a soft box on it, you know, and so it's not the harsh okay. LEDs that some of them have. And so I really like this because, um, one, it's on sale right now. I think it's it's like only $18. So I just think this is a really oh, wow. great light to have. You can actually put another one on top. There's a place where you can stack them if you wanted to and have two or side by side. It's just, it's got a, it's tons of, you can mount it on a tripod. It's got a tripod uh, mount and also it's got the, the shoe on it. So oh. yeah, it's just a ni nice little light. And this is the VL49 version of it, but... I was super impressed with it. So that's so Chad, Chad told you about that, huh? Yeah, I usually don't listen wow. to him, but I thought maybe this time <laughs> I will because he has all that stuff on his camera if you've ever seen him do stuff. So um, anyway, um, do you have any lighting stuff you want to talk about? Because I have a couple more that I, I want to mention. I, I don't. You you can okay. go ahead and, and hit hit up more lighting stuff. Absolutely. So one of the things that I like to do, I, all of my lights are. Um, Elgato and Elgato has got a sale. I use the key lights right now, and so I can actually use my Stream Deck to turn them off uh, and back on and control the brightness and all that stuff. The one I use is down below, and they're the ones that actually attach to my desk, and so I'm able to. Um, what if I can show? Let me go to my other camera. So hopefully I won't break the internet, but I want to, and I'll show my how my messy office is. But I want to bring my little camera up here to show you guys um, here. Let me go to this camera. Okay, there's my there's my shot of my key light. Now this one attaches to my, and I have one another one over there. You're seeing behind the, the curtain. Behind um, the curtain? I know, wow. isn't that scary? So <laughs> what these do, um, they, they have a really soft light and they clamp to my desk. And the thing that, um, I like about it because they clamp. I'm on a standing best desk that's powered, and so uh -huh. everything goes up with me, and I don't have right. to worry about that. Now, I'm going to highlight in the carousel, they have a sale right now. I think it's $99 that they're doing these for of the ones that aren't the clamps but are actually the ones that um, uh, have, like, a little base that go that go on it. But they're still key lights. They're still controlled by, you know, they're the Elgato ones. I'm going to knock stuff off here. Um but I I love them. I mean, I once you, once again, once you set stuff up, Jim, and we've talked about this, having the the ability just to go and turn on lights, being able to control them from a central location, and have them done, that's really really cool. They also you can change them to more warmth or more cool. They have that adjustment with them as well. So if you're looking on upgrading your lighting setting, down here in the uh, carousel, the Elgato Key Light Airs, they're called the Airs, which are a little uh, they don't have the clamp on, they have a base, so check those out now does that give you multiple shades of white you know you have like yeah. all so you can control it from the stream deck you can control all that you know the brightness the cool the hot the the warmth from your stream deck but you also have it on your desktop so it's why it's because it goes through your wi-fi so there's a control signal that El elgato has for your desktop and also your phone so you can actually control it from your phone as well so there's multiple ways to control this if you're doing you know an, going out on a shooter somewhere uh, you could do that too. So yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. No, that's a great idea. And, and since you brought it up, I, I, I will talk a little bit about this, this stream deck, right? This mm -hmm. is, 
one of the things, and it's actually, uh, I mean, it's 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 a, it's a little bit on sale. I wouldn't say that it's a like a Prime Day uh, special. Uh, let me see what I'll do is like, yeah, I can move mine off so I can show people what it looks like. And so, um, this is the XL, right? And the mm-hmm. reason I went with the XL, of course, let me make sure I get myself lined up here, right? Right? I, you, you're like start thinking opposite of the way you really want to go. I know that's what I do. Um, it it's got 32 buttons. And because you can never have enough buttons, but the nice thing is, I with eCam, which is what I have this program for, I can go in to the Stream Deck and decide what scenes I just want to have buttons for. It also allows me to record. So, like when I'm recording a uh, product video at my desk, I have the scene set up in advance, and I just hit this button, which is out of my, you know, out of frame, out of reach. And boom, it starts the software, starts Ecamm going. Then I can change the scenes in between, you know, where like I can go to this look. And then when I'm done, I can, you know, I can go back to either hitting it where it's, you know, just me, like you're seeing here. Mm -hmm. And then I can hit the, you know, finish. And it just, it saves so much time. And there's so many other things you can do with a stream deck. Like, like you said, Jeff, you're controlling your lights. Um, you can also set up separate profiles. So, like, I have a Stream Deck profile for when I'm using Ecamm with Zoom. Right. Because that's got some different... I have some different looks I want in there. You can also do it, like... Um, an, another thing people may not realize you can do with Ecamm is you can set up for 720... You, like, you can make a vertical video. So I can make a vertical video right here, use the Stream Deck to kind of set up scenes where maybe I have something underneath Mm -hmm. and I can have that all programmed in here. So I I think this is definitely, uh, you know, because some people ask, like, oh, what's the difference between the Stream Deck and the Rodecaster Pro? The Stream Deck is not really a sound interface. It's more a way to create, you know, efficiencies. I don't even necessarily call it shortcuts with your computer where the Rodecaster Pro is a, you know, audio interface it's allowing you to do audio stuff and so uh but i i went waited and got the xl because what i usually hear people saying is if they got the eight oh i should have got the 16 they get the 16 oh i should have got the 32 so you know if you got to save up a little bit of money you you can't go wrong with the 32 it's interesting i know that there are some people that have gotten the um I guess it's the foot pedal they came out yeah, with. Yeah, uh, Luria was talking about that. Uh, and I think Hyatt does it, too, to use it to control stuff. Uh, that's, I, man, I feel like, I, why don't I just learn how to play the drums? That's all I can think of is, like, if I'm doing all this stuff with my hands and my feet, then I'm just going <laughs> to, you know, good night. So, um, I'm getting a weird, oh, I'm hitting something. Sorry. I was hitting my keyboard. That was me. So, um Let's uh, on on this whole th- thing. I want to talk about that because I want to show because I think this is important, and I'm going to pull mine out because I actually have. Um, oh, what happened? Is my did my overhead go away? Looks like it did. There it is. So I go. have two of them, and so the small one is wow. actually on sale right now for 33 percent off. So it's usually um wow. it's usually 149 dollars. it's a hundred dollars right now so uh this is what i started with and you were right exactly is that i um and so i'm going to pop you up by using that um i upgraded to this but it's nice to have two and i'm a nerd but whatever um the cool thing about the software is that you can see i've got you know this one is kind of i just keep always standard i've got this is where i control my key lights that i just showed this is where right. i have some different cameras i'll bring up questions like you can't see it, but there's Gary from our show that he always asks some great questions, and I have oh, yeah. him volley on there uh, where I can mute my mind. I kind of use this for like a standard. The thing is, if even if you have the smaller one, you can actually program the keys to go to a different screen. So you could like have two keys down here, and you can toggle between like multiple screens if you want to. Um, it's also cool. You can actually upload your logo when it's powered down. It shows your logo in the buttons, which is kind of a, a nerdy thing. But the software here, and hopefully I can do this without breaking the internet, um, I have this since both Jim and I do um, these multiple shows where we're producing them for other people. 
and a lot of times we'll do it on a regular basis, you can actually program multiple like configurations or profiles. Like, let me show you my show on this big one here. I'm gonna switch it over and I think it will work. Maybe not. Oh, I did it on the wrong one. Sorry, let me go to the, back to this. And because the cool thing is you can control both of these with the same software. So I'm gonna go to this one is the social media news live show and there's it all changes and the cool thing and i was talking to ross about this today it actually has kept it from the show that ross and i were on it actually updates your cameras in the 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 app on the the screen so you actually see like ross talking and you'll know what camera to hit which is very very mm -hmm. cool and so the way i do it is i usually set up the like this is the three up button this is the where i have the guest highlight and this is like just uh, me and Grace. That's Ross, my guest. That's just Grace. And then, then I have it angled down so like this is how I can know where to press. Is that right. I have like oh here's Ross camera. Okay, here's his URL. And here you know that's where I know I can hit that and bring up his title. Down here around the bottom, I have the different segments. Like I start with the, I have the, all the segments and I can program those each week. And I just can go through. I know all my segments are here. I know all my camera shots are up here and then going down from the camera shots are my titles. So that you have to figure out instead of just throwing them willy nilly on your screen, having a way that you train it. And so every show I know that I can just without even, you know, looking at it, I can go and touch the, the thing and, and bring it up. So uh, I don't think I could do my job without the uh, the stream deck. So it, it would be it would definitely be a lot more oh, difficult yes. because you'd be doing a lot of mouse clicks and looking for for different things and uh and you know that's where i think the folks at ecamm have been smart because it really works seamlessly with uh with yeah. ecamm and this makes life easy so you can see like there's jim like his stuff and there's my camera so i just think and then we still have michelle on because it he keeps the last one you did and you see michelle yeah. shot there i just think that's a really great way to to when you get stuck and not panic on and start pressing buttons randomly is being able to go and say, okay, Oh, I left Jim on. I can just click that button. So, you know, you know it's funny. I didn't realize that, you know, you know, learn something new every day. when I'm, I'm now looking at my stream deck and I can see the button where I did my overhead. The last shot is yeah. where I yeah. hold my stream deck. Yeah. So it's, it's, that I, I, it just helps, I think, get stuff laid out and, um, you know, being able to save the different shows. Like if you do, different ones like I built this one you know last night and the, the the software to create it and to set up the buttons is super super simple and so yeah if you don't have one and you're doing live streaming that's one you need to check out so yeah. what else you got yeah and, and speaking of well we've got a ecam expert amazon expert Geraldine Wilkins over in the oh, chat uh, yeah. she said love the 32 for one screen use instead of multiple pages and yeah multiple po profiles one for uh each show yeah it makes makes life uh very easy um let's see what do i have is uh you got everything i know Jim. i don't i didn't put as much stuff as you did you you were smarter than me um, well i just i mean when i get jim fuse from dealcasters on i like i have to take advantage now, okay, of it so, okay so i'm going to try this so uh this is something that i definitely have been using for a while uh, the blink outdoors are 50% off. What? If I can get to work, you're going to see something really cool. Let me see. You want to go here. full screen gotta... on you? Uh, no, I'm going to I'm going to do overhead cuz I'm going to do something crazy okay. here. I have I have uh, I have you the, the one that shall remain nameless muted at the moment. But uh, okay. So, if I got this right, I don't pull the plug out on it. Okay. So this is, uh, and I've got this also in the carousel. This is the Echo Show. Mm, um, I that's cool. think this is my eight. But now if I say, Alexa, show me the front door camera. Oh, don't do this to me. And now, of course, it's going to do this to me. Now it's going to re-enable re the skill. But... Um, all right, so let me. That's a go really back clear screen. What size of what size of screen is that? I think this is the eight. Okay. Um, I probably should get a ruler out because I think that looks like it's more than five. And so, what um, do you, what do you use it mostly for? So I what's kind of cool is it, it will do uh, photos. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so like it'll, you know, I've got my uh, Amazon photos, and so that that stuff will show up. Um, let me see while we're doing this if I can get my skill to re-enable itself. I can't believe she did this. Oh, um, I can because you're on it, live show. Right, right. So do exactly. it, do it, Timmy, while I'm live. Uh, the other thing you can do is like, and Chris and I have done this before. Is I like if you have one of these, Jeff, and we get connected, mm -hmm. I can actually call you right. on this device. And we can yeah. do a video call. Um, in fact, this may be a reminder from, yeah, see, I get reminders um, every Everyone, once in a yeah, while. Yeah. It'll give me, like, if my uh I think you could call my Echo, home. too, actually. I think yeah. you, we, wouldn't have, we wouldn't have video, but I think you could actually do that. Right. So, um, we use it as an intercom in our house a lot. And it freaks my daughter out because I'm yeah, like, do so, that drop so my in. My wife, sometimes she'll go through the device on her phone and she'll say, you know, she's on her way home. And, and then I'll get the notification on there because one of the things that we run into sometimes is because of our jobs, I can't necessarily have my phone on. Mm -hmm. And so since it'll show up on the screen and I have it muted, I, I know that rather than, you know, all of a sudden my phone going off in the middle of doing a live stream. Right. Um, so let me see. All right, I'm gonna go back to this. We'll we'll come we'll come back to this if I can okay. get this to work. Well, we'll definitely... while you're looking at this, I want to do something, and it's and it's not on sale, but there's something that I want to talk about afterwards. That is. Um, so yeah. we talked about the Stream Deck, and I guess one of their competitors to it. I'm gonna go and pull this up, um, kind of full screen here as I go back in here. Um, this is a Loop Deck. Now, this. Yes. Chris is, loves the Loop Deck. This is amazing. Now, they have different versions. They, this is the Loop Deck CT. And what it does, all these buttons are dynamic on what software you're on. And especially like Logic or Adobe Premiere, Adobe Audition. There's a whole list of them. That, and Photoshop, it's, all tons, it's a ton of stuff that you can use. Uh, but all this stuff is dynamic for what you're using. Like um, right now, it's not showing anything because I don't have it really set for anything this is kind of just the basic thing where i can bring up my this is a clock and all this but this is a jog wheel and it's 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 like butter it's just amazing um and i use this for when i'm editing especially amazon product videos these having these tactile buttons like i can dial into the the timeline i can zoom in really quickly by just spinning this and then i can go down here and r go right to the scene up here all the buttons are where I can clip it and do rolling edits and all this really quick stuff with the uh, loop deck. But I, like right now it's just kind of basic. I can change my volume. I can do the, actually the brightness of my screen, but they ha you, there's little clicks. So it's not just smooth. It's actually kind of graduated. And then you can actually assign something to a press on these. But this has changed the way I edit podcasts and the way I edit video. It makes it so much faster. Um, and the way they, the software, the way they have it set up is just amazing. So this is not on sale, but I wanted to talk about this because having a device when you're editing and it, there is some learning, like I still have just scratched the surface of this thing, but being able to have a analog control to do stuff is just amazing for being able to edit video quickly, sitting down and just batching it out by using this is amazing. So they have a couple versions of this. They have, this is the CT. It's kind of like their their big premium thing. They have a version of it where it's just the top of this with the buttons. Um, and you can use it like just like a stream deck, but it, you can control, there's a lot of live uh, functions you can do on it. Um, but I really wanted the scroll wheel because this changes as well. I can do color editing with it. Um, you can you could swipe and go to pause. I mean, just there's so much stuff. I'm gonna do a whole video just on this because it's so amazing. But that being said, if you really want to dive in, you want to have some control, some tactical control of your um, of, of your um, editing process, there is something that's on sale right now, and it's um, I just threw it in underneath the the um, the carousel here. It's kind of a it's almost a controller. It's um, this graphics tr controller called the Tourbox, and the tu Tourbox Neo. And what it does is kind of the same thing. It doesn't have like the the buttons like this and the you know 
that you can change the buttons. It's kind of a tactile thing, but it's got scroll wheels. It's got all these buttons you can sign. It almost looks like kind of a gaming controller, but you use it for editing. And I've seen a lot of videos on that, and that is on sale. So if you want to kind of put your feet in and get started, like editing in a different way and kind of speeding up your flow, I would really look strongly at the the uh, tool the yeah the tour box neo and it's got some great reviews on it and it's on sale right now uh down in the uh the carousel it's 139 dollars which i for for that for being able to control just having a shuttle wheel when you're doing your editing speed stuff up but you can assign controllers for your editing process with this so if you're an editor i would definitely look at that because that's a great sale right now right right let me so. see I, I i can't get uh I can't get her to cooperate. I'll have to play with that later because it says mm -hmm. it's enabled. But I think another example of what you can do with the with the show. This is what one of the things I really like about it. So as you can see, right, it's it's now right now. Uh, you, know, I, you can ask it things. I, I don't care about cupcakes. I do. Um, I'm hungry. Well, once in a what? So if I wanted to, you know, but I could say, you know, Alexa, what's the weather in Marietta? And then it gives me the, the cool. weather. And let's see if I can get this to, to work. Um, Alexa, play the terminal list on Amazon Prime. Now we're going to get taken down because you're using audio. And so you can actually watch Amazon shows. That's cool. That's really cool. I think I think it's going to work. So you Let's can see. actually so cuz because Amazon just got the rights to Thursday night football, you'll be able to watch Thursday night football on your show now. Yeah. That's really cool. That is really cool. And so uh yeah, so of course now we're getting some commercials. Of course. And so yeah, you could watch your stuff on here. The screen resolution yeah. looks pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, and this is this is a second gen. Right. There's gotcha. a new one out, I think, that's 15 inches. I mean, it's almost like buying a uh, tablet. Yeah. Another TV, right? Yeah. Um, let's see if it's going to do it or not. Is yep, that any is. good? I still I, haven't watched it yet. I've still I watched the first three episodes. Well, I watched three episodes last night. It was so Alexa. You liked it. Yeah, I did. And this is um, the one with Chris Pratt, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it looked good. Um, I don't know if it'll do. Let's see if it'll do. Um, What's it called? Alexa, show me the Amazon shopping app. Let's see if it'll do that. I'm glad we Alexa, have to... uh, Alexa sh Amazon shopping app. I'm glad I have mine oh. muted. Oh, is it, am I making yours do stuff? Yeah, All right. I'm, I'm, I couldn't get it to work. But yeah, I, just the fact that you can watch your videos on here. Yeah. And you're with the football coming. Oh, yeah, that's right. huge. That's going to be huge. You can watch football on it. So I think that's going to be another really cool thing to do. So and, uh, let's talk about, we've mentioned it before, and I still have the Rodecaster Pro uh, yeah. interface, and that's what I'm going in with all these microphones. And you can do, you know, sound effects. Uh, so you can set all that kind of cool stuff up. Those when Jim was talking about the pads, that's what that was. So what? And you have the Rodecaster Pro too. And did yep. you have the Rodecaster before the just the? the I, I did version? not. Okay. I did not. Yeah. So I, I, I went with the Focus right, and 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 I and I will tell you right. We'll blame it on Doc Rock. We were talking about him earlier. He was the guy that convinced me I needed to order it, and uh, I know Chris got it as well. So we neither one of us had a roadcaster, but we've gone to this one. Let me see if I got this uh, working. Yeah, okay. That's cool. I should just have so that, someone follow me around to do that. So yeah. <laughs> right. I feel a lot better about myself. Yeah. So but, uh, but I like it because like when I am on using StreamYard, mm -hmm. right now I can use you said sounds the where word. before there was really no way to do that. Yeah, you um, said the S word. Because they're, they're not like Ecamm, where Ecamm has all those features. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Good cover. Thank you. Um, that's cool, though. So I, I'm still trying to decide, and I probably should ask Cl Chris uh, Cliff Ravenscraft, because he is the man when it comes to this stuff, um, if it's worth upgrading from the Rode 
pro caster first model to the second so he, that, he may still be around I, he just made a uh, made yeah, a comment i saw that it says, a few minutes ago. my pleasure so, so yes Cliff, if you're still here what are your thoughts on the roadcaster pro 2 have you or do you have any thoughts on it yeah i'm sure he i bet he does so so we're kind of we're actually gone we've already gone over an hour uh with this but i want to get some huh? of the more deals of the day that we talked about and make sure that you get all your stuff in there but yeah, uh, I, I, I'm, yeah, I, have, I think one thing left. Okay, I've got, a deal I've got a it. couple things that I want to talk about, um, and I'm gonna probably do a, a just a full headphone show as I drop things all over um, <laughs> tomorrow because there's so many great headphone deals right now, and I'm a big headphone nerd. But I'm gonna talk about my favorite because they are on sale, um, both of them right now, um, and. It's everything by Bose, like the Bose stuff. So um, I'm going to go, here it is. So my my go-to things, and I have these, and I, I just brought them back from my uh, kind of my reading chair, podcasting chair, everything. These are the um, actually the Quiet Comfort um, 35s. The 45s are on sale right now. Um, but these are like, I think these are four years old. I did a review on them for Amazon not very long ago, and I looked it up, and they're four years old. The only things I've ever had to replace are these pads here, and I actually you can get them from Bose, and they're super easy to replace, but they were all falling apart and nasty. I was getting out of my couch, and I had, like, black stuff hanging down. Um, but these are these are what I take with me on the plane. You can see they're getting a little wear on the logo and stuff, but uh, these are so comfortable, and they sound so good. I just love them. Um, these are what I use, um, in my house when I'm wanting to chill out and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, bows right now are on sale. The, the upgraded ones, the new, these are the 35s, the 45s, I think have a little bit better sound cancellation. It's got the best in class of Bose sound, mm -hmm. um, cancellation. And so that is what's these, those are what are on sale right now. The other ones that, um, let me see if I have them in here. Um, so those are the quiet comfort 35s. Um, those are the 45s. The other ones are is, and I, I put the wrong ones in, but these are the 700s. These are kind of their new ones that they have. I like them, and these are what I have in my office um, that I like a lot of times I'll use for um, listening and making calls because it's a they have a really great sound quality when I'm doing that. But these are the Bose 700s. But both of them are on sale right now. So down in the carousel there, you can check those out. Um, like I, I even like their Bose. I have their... Um, their sound sports and i've had these for years and they've got the bat wings on them and so those oh, yeah. they stay in your ear really well like i use these when i was out walking and when i actually ran hard to believe it's, that's how old i am when i used to run back in the day but these are great all of those products i'm a big fan of them and they're on all on sale right now in um in the carousel down below so if you're looking well, for new well, headphones, and I, th I think bose has always kind of been known as like the headphone people and you really yeah think about it. i mean they're they i still think they have the best sound cancellation i know sony has some great headphones and a lot of people compare the two um but i just really and apple does i mean their stuff i you know for watching movies i like the apple uh airpods max with the the dynamic sound they have in there it, that's hard to beat right but for cancellation i still think bose in my opinion has the best uh, one out there right so, so. right all right mr fuse what what's what's your uh, so, next so one? After, after you gave all this all this good stuff to to bose uh oh here we go it's a I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, sure has uh and, and i and i'm gonna admit these aren't on sale but i but i really like these these are the aionic 40s and hmm. these are over ear wireless right they come in a really nice case and uh you know you can see just the uh the quality how you know i've, I've switched mine a little bit too like you're talking about um and so what i'll do is i wear these as well like when i'm listening to this stuff and it's just very comfortable you know i, I could i could almost fall asleep in them other than i would turn know, on your side yeah <laughs> turn on my side yeah. and uh but I, I like how, you know, they, they feel right. these have a, tw so this is where I was getting confused with the Aonic freeze. These have a 24 hour battery life work with your iPhone and Android phones. Um, these are just a step below the 50. I know Chris got some fifties, um, you know, but I've really 
enjoyed using these for you know listening to stuff because because like kind of the difference between the freeze right and these is i don't have to worry about anything falling out of my ear right because it's mm -hmm. it's right. there it's comfortable and and i get a little bit of that noise cancellation so um it, it's a good excuse to not hear when people are asking you questions like oh i couldn't hear you because yeah. i was wearing my headphones there and, and I, uh and you, you're right about there's a the thing that i i get so paranoid about that I because I'll have my coffee and I'm so scared I'm gonna dunk them and they're gonna fall out and hit, get in my coffee. I just I have this weird thing like it's just like I can't drink coffee because I have to get earbuds in. But I'm <laughs> right. just I'm just strange. So I guess that you agree? Yeah, I just I'm like I'm always like especially with AirPods because they just kind of are yeah. like loose. Or like, like all of a sudden you decide to yeah. wash something in this thing and oh wait whoa I gotta be careful <laughs> exactly. it's gonna go down the drain. So since that was Jim's last one, I want to just do some really quick deals of the day that have to do with live streaming that I think is that are important. Um, first of all is um, uh, storage. And what, this is when I buy oh, my yeah. storage is during Prime Day. So one of the best deals that I think is today is, and it's down in the carousel, is the SanDisk. Um, it's the two gigabyte of this. Look how small this is for two gigs. And it's all that solid state hard drive. Oh. This is what I have in my tech bag when I travel, and two tetrabytes is a lot of storage, especially if you're doing video or audio, and it's just got a, a really um, small little USB connector there, and then it goes into, you know, if you have a Mac, it's going to be a dongle, but um, you can have those adapters. But this thing, is it's fast, and it holds so much, and it's super light, and it's just that sturdiness that I have a lot of portable hard drives, but this one... And it's like hugely, like it's sixty-seven percent off of what it normally is. That, is that an SSD? Yeah, it's an SD hard drive. Oh. So it's solid wow. state. So there's no moving parts. Um, yeah. And this is just for backup stuff. Like if you're shooting footage out um, in the wild, this is what you need to put it on. Like I just like it's got a carabiner clip, which I I don't know why I'd put it on a carabiner, but it's it's super sturdy and just yeah. If you can pick, if you can pick up one of these, if you need a hard drive, this is one of them to pick up. It's the um, this one's one hundred eighty dollars right now, but it's two tetrabytes in this little thing. I'm so wow. old; I remember back in the day when it was megabytes. So that's yes, the yes. that's that's the one thing. And the other thing is in that same deal, there's um, so I have that for when I travel, but then like I have two of them, and they're right here. And I don't want to show you the rat's nest of my desktop. <laughs> But I have the like a Western Digital has a um, sixteen tetrabyte, sixteen tetrabytes, oh folks, uh, one for two thirty seven right now, and that's forty seven percent off. So I'm I'm I am so paranoid about losing footage. Like I have a, a NAS system up there, network attached storage. I use Dropbox. I have these. You just can't have enough hard drives. <laughs> so um, this is the day if you need hard drives pick them up in prime day because this is usually when they're cheapest uh, once in a while black friday will have them but prime day is kind of the best the last one i want to talk about is my hue so i use my stream deck to control not just um this but i can also control my hue devices but i also control it on my on my um ipad air which that's what i use for runs to run amazon with because i'm using my phone for this um but I can control the temperature of this. I usually, when I'm shooting videos and live stuff, I turn off everything and I can do it all from my iPad because of the Philips Hue. And all of those Hues are having a huge sale right now as well. You can get like the hub and a bunch of lights and the colored lights. Like these aren't just, I can change yeah. them to blue or red or whatever. Um, they are on sale right now too. It's a deal of the day. And I think like a, like four lights and um, uh, a hub is like $160 and that's, 32 percent off so i forgot to, i forgot to check I, we, might, we might have to talk about this tomorrow let me see if uh i i use i've started using the um the ge sinks mm -hmm. um yeah they've got some on sale they're 25 percent off um and they're they're similar but you don't have to have um like the hub in the sense like you right, right. get an app and uh so i we have them i have one in my uh, living room and then we have two on our outside lights and so what we'll do is like right now one's red one's blue for you know 4th of July I guess now it's time to come up with new colors and then 
I've got another one I need to put out in the back to probably make it more of a yellow, you know, to kind of keep the bugs away. Right. But, you know, what's nice is because they're LED bulbs, you're not using up as much uh, right. on your electric bill. So and, 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 and they like last for a long, turn it on. Yes. a long time. I think I've had this office for 10 years and I've only replaced the lights once. The, the bad thing is they canceled. They used to have track lighting that would fit minor track lighting up here. Uh, but we have them in our house. So we have everything's hue, which is great because we can control everything. And like like right now, I can this is on my iPad app. I can just turn them all off and they're all I still have my these on. But um, yeah, it's just being able to control being able to control down. And then like I can change the temperature and the color of everything um, mm -hmm. is just super nice. And well, and, it doesn't, and, and because they're LED, right? Like if you they don't get hot. didn't have LED on top of the fact that it was 80 degrees in your <laughs> in Texas, room, yeah, like 100. <laughs> well, and the other thing, so you can also we mentioned Alexa before. Like when I am done for the night, I say, I tell her to shut down the office. She shuts down my hue lights. She and she starts the um, the alarm because you can do the if this and that. You can control everything right. with your home kit. Um, you can use your Apple stuff to can Hue works with Apple and also with uh, other stuff that you can do. And so if this then and then that you can control all these different things. I actually had it for a while when my son was here, when the Cowboys would score, it would turn blue and it would flash. So you can do all sorts of fun stuff um, for that. But those are on sale right now. Uh, they are they seem really, really pricey until you l realize how long they last. They last right. really forever. So not forever. That's not true, but they last a long time. So uh, that was, I think, my last. Well, I think my very, very last one, Jim, is um, the other thing is important is to keep hydrated. And this is my water bottle, and it is on sale too. <laughs> so I've been when I when I change the camera over to Jim, I'm usually drinking drinking some water. So I, I did I did get this on Amazon. It's the uh, Alabama oh, look um, at that Herbert's. Service is on sale right now as too. I don't have it in the carousel, but they're having a big sale yeah. on uh, on Amazon Prime Day right now. So. Yes. So the uh, the water of champions. Water of champions. All right. Anything else? <laughs> Anybody else have any questions as we wrap things up? We're going to probably come back tomorrow and do some more for the final day of Prime. But we appreciate you guys watching all your comments and questions and putting up with us late at night as yeah, we, yeah. As and, we and in case those of you might uh, know a couple of people ask where's where's waldo where's chris chris why, is, why is in jeff here yeah europe uh and so i appreciate jeff uh you know have, having having some fun because this is your first prime day right as far as I, streaming for, for going live i mean i had been streaming forever until you guys really got me into i mean for me amazon was just a destination until you guys really started right. teaching me and getting me started in product videos and live stuff and so yeah, it's been fun. Thanks, everybody, for watching on my channel. Um, I appreciate you guys uh, doing that. Let me know if I have any questions, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.